Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I am here in a secret location in Detroit, Michigan because we have something exciting coming from Chevrolet and it's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the all new first time ever 2024 Chevrolet Traverse, this being the first ever Traverse Z71. But before we get into this midsize SUV that's ready to take you off-road and on-road, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet is going through their lineup like gangbusters. We've already brought to you that redesigned tracks showing the direction with styling, technology, safety, and efficiency. Well, guess what? It is now the midsize Traverse's turn to take that on. And if you look at the auto industry, that seems to be a segment that's really booming. And all you have to do is just look on the interwebs and you'll see a plethora of midsize SUVs that are coming out of nowhere, but also getting redesigned, <clears throat> excuse me, as well. I'm getting all choked up because this is a special occasion with this Traverse. Now, doing the Z71, Chevrolet knows that that badge is not just simply a plate that's stuck on a vehicle, that they're gonna do all the inner bits, all the inner workings to make it truly earn that Z71 badge and really be unique in the market. And it seems that a lot of these midsize SUVs, some of them are pretending to be off-road-esque and some of, them, some of them are bringing the business. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a midsize crossover SUV that has that off-road capability, technology and amazing styling, is the Traverse the better one to go with over the competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, it hits you like a ton of bricks in a very good way. The Traverse overall gets a whole new platform, all new style, and when you go Z71, you're gonna get a unique look. Now there's gonna be four different trims, LT, LS, Z71, and RS, but I'm telling you, as soon as I came into the secret location, my jaw dropped. What you're gonna notice is a little bit over an inch higher on this Traverse compared to the standard trims of the Traverse. At the front of the business, you're gonna get a totally unique Z71 front design element. You're gonna get full LEDs. Love these bright white LED daytime running lamps the way that they're styled, working your way down, you'll notice that the way that they took the design philosophy, I see some of the other family members of the Chevrolet lineup in this vehicle, like the Tahoe, like the Trax, like the Silverado. You're gonna get your LED projector beam headlight in the lower section, and I like the way that they went with this dark chrome finish. Some functionality with those corner air curtains, and then of course you're gonna get some flat black that's gonna help protect the body so that everything isn't all painted to just get all scratched up. Nice to have that flat black. And of course, no Z71 isn't complete until you get the red tow hook. So this is gonna allow you to pull out those lesser SUVs, those midsize SUVs out of the mud, out of the dirt. You have that extra ground clearance that is nice. And then as you come across the front, the new bold face of the Z71 badge traverse the traverse by itself has really gotten more muscular wider track you're looking at the difference in the chassis love the full functionality from top to bottom with this gloss black grille of course you got that blacked out bow tie good old louis chevrolet going all the way back to the early 1900s forward facing camera and there it is that z71 badge never looked better on the front end of a grill. Now, what's interesting is that besides this grill being fully functional, there are active sh uh, shutters behind the grill that open and close to help with that efficiency. Because remember, it's not just about taking you places where maybe in the past a Traverse wasn't able to go, but it's also about increasing efficiency. And we'll get more to that when we pop the hood on this all new Traverse. Now, as you work your way down, Love the way they did some nice metallic silver to break up the sea of black and even more functionality on that lower portion. Now, the great news is, is that underneath here, knock, knock, who is that? We have skid plates underneath the belly of this midsize SUV. That shows the intentions. And like I said, there's some brands in this segment that are kind of off-road pretenders. This one is really doing the business with what you need to go off-roading. Now, as we rise up, love the clean, bold style of the hood. You're gonna have a nice little peak in the center that kind of evaporates as you go closer towards the windshield. And then you have these nice kind of indentations on each corner. 
I can't wait to get behind the wheel because I really feel that that's gonna give you great visibility out the windshield, but also good reference points as you're driving on the road and off-road. Now, as you come around the bend, what do we work in wheel and tire setup? For the first time ever on a Traverse, the Z71 has these special 18 inch wheels. Love the gloss black, the machined aluminum, and then what you're gonna notice are those Goodyear Wrangler true real deal off-road tires. Something that you would find on a Silverado truck with, of course, the shielding on the side to protect your sidewalls. This is gonna allow you to be able to go a little bit further on that family vacation off the beaten road than what you've done before. You have your adaptive suspension, all four corners that's been fine-tuned for this off-road-esque traverse. And then of course, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this tire? You're looking at 265 on the width, a meaty 65 series sidewall. And I'll have Lori kind of zoom in to show you the suspension work that's been done with your springs and your shock absorber there. I also think it was very smart to have the fender flare in flat black, like I said, with this being more that off-road traverse. We're gonna show you some other examples down the road. Now, as we come down the side, gloss black on the mirror caps, of course, you're gonna have your 360 degree cameras, very important, LED turn signals. Love the way that they did the traverse name, perfect height with that body line in your side doors, of course, blacked out color match on the door handles, you are gonna have raised roof rails. And I'm glad that they're raised because that makes it a lot easier for all those tie downs and different things that you're gonna put up there. Of course, you could get the optional crossbars, get your cargo carrier, get your kayak, canoe carrier, whatever you're gonna put up there. Working our way towards the rear, this is where we really see that new chassis, nice length on the wheelbase. Remember wheelbase, when you look at the side of the vehicle, we're talking about the space from the front wheels to the rear wheels. Of course, this has that all wheel drive and it's got a special all new twin clutch, which we're gonna talk more about for that rear differential. Now, as we come back towards the rear, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the design of the vehicle. I love the way they took the actual body up in to that rear area and then the quarter glass, very, very unique. A lot of brands just put like some kind of triangle or rectangle or some boring shape there. Nice to have that sporty flow, really modern without going too over the top. And then of course, as we come around the back, just like we had up front LED lighting, absolutely in love with how they styled the LED lighting on the back of the Traverse, especially that waterfall effect that goes into the lower fascia area. And then when you get to the back, you're gonna have a nice color matched roof spoiler. You have your shark fin antenna up top. Of course, we're gonna have that ability for that digital rear view mirror. You got your wiper, your blacked out bow tie nicely within that black that extends from one side to the other. And then going all the way down to ground level, you have your traverse badge, the all wheel drive on that Z71. And I love how they did the quad tip exhaust. This is something that's so simple, but yet really shows the purposeful appearance of this thing. And the fact that you have the two tips on both sides and they're functional, there's a lot of vehicles today that are putting fake exhausts at the back just for style. But these not only look good, but they also function. And of course, you're gonna remove this back plastic plate area, and that's where you're gonna have your full towing capability. And when we say towing, Chevrolet sticking to their guns, 5,000 pound towing capacity. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk engine in this new Traverse. All right, guys, one thing I wanna preface before I just let you in underneath the hood, it's just like at an auto show, just like when we're involved with these special secret filming locations, these are early pre-production models. And of course, we have to power the vehicle while it's sitting here. So underneath the hood, you are gonna see that box. That is the power inverter that is not included and not needed to drive this Traverse. But what do you get underneath that hood? We have an all new power plant. So what we're looking at with the Traverse is a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four that's producing 315 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. Now, before you start crying and getting upset that the V6 is no longer available, let's talk about this for a second. You're getting more power, more torque, and better fuel efficiency. So that's gonna be the big facet with this power plant. You are gonna get a specially tuned eight-speed automatic transmission. And like I said, with the Z71, 
Equip Traverse. It has an all new twin clutch, all wheel drive system and 5,000 pounds worth of trailering. And you have things like hill descent control and unique dampers, all four corners. But obviously we will have more information about what the uh, efficiency of this power plant is. And of course, we're gonna be here to bring it to you for the drive, but you know what? Let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store in the new Traverse. All right, guys, we are here inside this all new Chevy Traverse with the Z71 package, that off-road Traverse. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I need a new midsize SUV. I've been looking at the pilots. I've been looking at the Pathfinders. I've been looking at all these different SUVs. My great grandfather had a Chevy. My dad had a Chevy. I got to have a Chevy. How much is this Traverse? No official pricing yet, but stay tuned because you know we're going to bring it to you first. But let's see what this Traverse brings on the inside of things to the door panels. I'm digging what Chevy has done with the style. Nice soft touch material up top. And then you'll notice this red in that upper portion. What's great about it, it's better than just simple gloss black. It brings some nice style and color and it really just makes the door panel come alive. On the armrest, you're gonna have soft material, that contrast stitching. I'm very happy to report no gloss black around the switch gear. And then you know what? That door pocket is a really good size to where you could easily get a 12 inch Subway sub, get a cold cut combo and a large soda to put in that cup holder. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you'll notice how they shaped everything. I like the way the dash is a little bit lower. It kind of really gives a nice bird's eye view out the windshield, especially with the way the A pillars are. The way that they use some of this uh, aluminum style material is looking really great, especially on the AC vents more of that red trim and then look at what we have a 17.9 infotainment system full touchscreen capability and i love the way it's angled just a little bit towards the driver of course you're going to have your dual climate controls everything easily accessible right from the screen including google assistant and you have a real deal volume knob which is another nice touch that some brands forget about Working your way down, we have those dual climate controls, physical knobs. So not everything is done through the infotainment system screen only. If you want to control your AC, for example, through the controls, you have physical knobs and buttons for the AC, which is wonderful. Wireless charging, USB-C, USB-A, and a 12 volt. Two cup holders. Here is your Chevy key fob looking like it does before with your remote start, of course. A little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. And I think a lot of times people are gonna drive with this container open. You have a nice large size, easily fit. I would say about six Twinkies in there, no problem. Close it up on the sides. You'll notice that we have a place to put a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack, a satchel. Any kind of uh, thing that you're carrying around fits nicely underneath that bridge center console area soft touch material with the red stitching and the white stitching just like on the door open it up look at this mid-size suv with plenty of space you could easily take i would say a nerf football and fit it in that center console area nice depth to the room and then the seats the z71 embroidery the stitching nice soft touch material manual controls for the passenger but i do have electric assist for the driver and then check it out not just a standard sunroof we have that new panoramic sunroof but why don't you come over here to the business and i want to show you behind the all new wheel in the z71 traverse all right guys business time yes there's a little bit of beeping but you know what the show must go on you'll notice that you have your seat controls easy to get to especially with that lower lumbar save you from seeing the chiropractor. One of the things I wanna kind of focus on is that I'm six feet tall. I love the space and I love the way everything is arranged in here, especially when it comes to overall comfort because with the efficiency of that four cylinder turbo, you're gonna be going further between stops, which of course you wanna be comfortable. Now on the steering wheel, love the leather. You have that Z71 badge and you'll notice the availability of Super Cruise on the Traverse flat black on all the switch gear. You do have a heated steering wheel. And then you have that nice, large digital gauge cluster. 
we'll be able to show you all the great graphics and fonts that you've noticed on some of the other new Chevrolet products. And I think that really is where they're gonna knock it out of the park. And one thing that I think a lot of people won't realize is that we have a column shifter for that eight speed automatic. The good news about that is that it frees up the space to not have a shifter on the center console. But while we go ahead, it's not just about the people up front, Let's get into the mid-row and see what this Traverse is bringing for 2024. All right, guys, mid-row time. And this is one of those things where, remember, the Traverse was the first to have that availability for eight-passenger, seven-passenger arrangements. Obviously, you'll see in this one how we have it set up. You have these awesome seats, just like up front with the stitching. You do have your captain's chair armrests, which obviously could just be pushed right out of the way. We have pockets on the backs of the seats to where you could keep all those travel games. You know, a lot of times we get wrapped up with all the technology. Sometimes it's nice to have an analog feel, maybe play some Battleship, maybe have a, you know, a Simon Says, have that kind of stuff in those pockets. You do have a nice little command center here, two cup holders, your rear AC controls, two USB-Cs, a home power source, and another area where you could easily put four Twinkies. And then of course, when it comes to the overall seats, the way that they recline and the way that they slide is really, really nicely done on this setup. Not so much on the sliding, but the reclining part is what they're really able to focus and showcase. And I like how far that panoramic sunroof goes back. It really allows everybody to get some vitamin D, but you know what? We got three rows. That means you can fit more people in this Traverse. Let's see what I feel like getting back there in the third row. Right, guys, third row time, and you know what? Not too shabby. When you look at a lot of the competition, things could get very tight back here. But as you can see, my knees are not too high, which is good. Obviously, if you need more space, you're gonna have to step it up to a Tahoe. There's no way around it. But they really organize the space, especially when it comes to width. I feel like shoulder-wise, it feels really comfortable in here. USB-Cs for those third row passengers so they don't have to feel like peasants. And you have your AC vents nicely placed in that headliner area to bring you some cool air circulation. Plus the fact that the seats have a great material back here. So very, very happy with that. But while we go ahead, they say it's the largest cargo space in the segment. Let's go ahead and check it out in this right, Traverse. Guys, cargo area time in this all new Traverse. You hit the button. You have a nice electric assist. Now there will be the availability to where you could actually have the key fob on you and come to the back of the vehicle and it will automatically open for you. Trust me, when we do the first drive, we're gonna be bringing you even more of what these traverses have to bring to the table. But what you're gonna be noticing is that guess what? You're gonna be greeted to a generous amount of room, plenty of space with the third row up. And what's nice is, is that when you wanna maximize that space, it's easy to do. So you're just gonna pull and push to get that third row down. And then of course, you could then fold down the mid row. Once you have all rows down, you're looking at 97.57 cubic feet of space. That is class leading in this midsize three row SUV segment. We hit the button, comes closing down, but of course, I know you wanna go on throttle, especially doing a little bit of off-road with the Z71 Traverse. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Has Chevrolet found the perfect sauce, that special sauce recipe of what people are looking for today in a mid-size crossover SUV? Let me know down in that comment section. But of course, we got to thank everybody at Chevrolet for allowing us access to this special secret location deep within Motor City here in Michigan. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the muscle behind the lens. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.